Hey everyone, so it's Friday and I've got my computer to work again. So basically you're filming. Um this week's topic is societal pressures. <laughs> I am probably the big, one of the biggest advocates for <laughs> saying no to societal pressures. Um Honestly <laughs> this is so many <laughs> There's so much stress in life already as it is, like, why put yourself through the extra stress of trying to fit exactly what society says you should be, or, you know, what you, you, know, what you think society says that you should be, because all of that is a bunch of bull, to be honest, to be completely, completely honest with you. Um, my personal life, you know, I respect my family, and they wanted me to go into a job force where I was gonna, you know, make money and be able to support myself. My mom concerned with me for me was basically me taking care of myself. However, like I basically told her, no, I am a media major and that's what I do and what I love. I love creating films and videos and I'm aware that I'm probably gonna make really low wages for the rest of my life but I'm happy with what I'm doing and I feel fulfillment from what I'm doing and I really honestly don't think everything's about the money you know I want to be able to have enough to be comfortable but I don't want to live in a big huge house I probably will donate most of my money to organizations before that and to me to a lot of people that's so odd um you know if that that society you know society has all these rules or you know, rules and whatnot. It, it, why pay attention to them? Why follow them? Like, or why follow stereotypes? Like, I'm personally, I'm mixed with uh, African American and Hispanic and people call me white and because I don't fit the stereotypes that a Hispanic person does or an African American does and I'm kind of like, what, what, what does that even mean? Like, just be, doesn't, I'm still Hispanic and African American, like, I, just because I don't fit the stereotype. And even if you don't fit a stereotype, then who cares? Be yourself. Be happy with who you are. Um, you know, society isn't trying to tell you otherwise. People are going to try to put you down, but who says you have to listen to these people? Um, there are going to be people in your life that are going to love you and support you no matter what, and they're going to treat you amazingly. And the people that don't, the people that constantly treat you like you're a piece of trash, it, it, like Ashley said, you don't, <laughs> you don't need to have them in your life. Tell them goodbye. Just be like, hey, I can't deal with you anymore. I can't be your friend. And this may hurt, you know. Or, but honestly, when you get to the point when you think of when you tr when there's more cons to be someone's friend and more pros, then. That's when you have to say peace, especially because college is causing you some really good ones. Um, don't, you don't need to cause extra stress in your life. Um, now, the, specific to being masculine, feminine, trans, you know, gender, like, we're already breaking the societal norm, the you know, societal pressure, you know. Society would have told me, hey, be, be what you're born as and be okay with that and I'm not okay with that and I'm not comfortable with that and I decided that I was going to be myself versus live some lie and constantly struggle with myself and be hurt by it and be in this really dark place. You have to make the decision to be in a place of light in a place of positivity versus negativity and darkness because Honestly, it's gonna lead you down a really bad road and take that from me personal. Like, I've had, like, honestly, I've had so much personal experience dealing with that, and it's tough. It's really tough. If someone, especially in transition, if someone tells you, and I've said this a million times before, my personal channel, I've said this before on, I believe, on some of these other videos I've done for Trans Masculine League, if someone straight up tells you, be like, hey, that's not masculine enough, especially if you're trying to be weird saying that you're male. And that, that's not masculine enough. You tell them you like, screw you. Like, honestly, there is plenty of cis 
people that do things that are not masculine enough. And I don't even know what that means because everyone's definition of masculinity is different. And you know, even if, if that or um, you're different or if you're the same or whatever, no one says that you have to be masculine enough or you have to do this to be masculine to do this. Like, it's just a bunch of that's what people grew up with who've been told and fed into their mind. Like, oh, well, if you want to be, look, be masculine, you have to have the facial hair and you have to bulk up and there's there's no reason to it and there's no like point behind it like you are comfortable being yourself and be yourself because what's what it comes down to is your happiness and how you feel and how you deal with things screw what other people think and you know what you make about your personal life is what you make about your personal life and it's not it's not their choice um, I think that's just basically hitting the nail on the head right there. I don't really know what else to say about societal pressures. Like, you know, we, we are all under this pressure to be, you know, a cookie cutter person, you know. Um, go to college, go to school, whatever. And if you break out of that norm, then, you know, people are like, oh, we shouldn't have done that. But then again, it's your life. Do what makes you happy, do what you're comfortable with, be yourself, be positive, live a positive lifestyle. Don't deal with the extra stresses and stuff. Because it's hard enough getting a job and paying for bills and living and, you know, you want to start dating along the line, finding a spouse or, you know, any of that stuff. Or it's just, life has enough stresses, you don't have to deal with the extra stuff. Um, and it's true, you don't have to deal with it. And, you know, I mean, just don't deal with it. It's honestly that simple. I wish I would have known that forever ago. I would have saved myself a lot of stress dealing with certain people in my life. Um, if I would have known that, I would have started my transition a lot earlier. But you know, there's a perfect timing for everything. Every, I, I am a true believer that everything happens for a reason. I believe that God has a plan for us for a reason and such. So, yeah. Anyways, um, on my personal channel, I have a daily video Lent series going on, basically where I see positive things in my life, so if you want to check that out, um, my personal, uh, vlog will, my personal trans vlog will be in the description below. Also, in pre-warning, I'm very excited for next week's topic, if I remember right, it's about religion, and I have a strong background in that, um, and I have non cookie quarter cookie cutter uh views on that as it's as it out on its own so i mean you know that's just another where i kind of maybe step out a little bit of the societal pressures i'm telling you i'm a true advocate for not society like following society or whatever so anyways that's what i will leave you with and i will see y'all next week y'all hey, have a good one Later.